Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl. In this problem, we're asked to find the work required to wind a 20-foot chain that weighs three pounds per foot up using this winch. Well, in order to find the work, we need to talk about force. And in this problem, force is going to be variable. If you think about this, when the entire chain is let out, it's going to be much heavier and there'll be more effort required to wind it up. However, once most of the chain has already been wound, it will require less effort. So again, the force is going to be variable. So the formula I'm going to use for work is going to be work equals the integral from A to B of a variable function f of y dy. Okay, now I need to come up with an equation for this force. Well, let's go ahead and look at our picture. We're going to say that this length is y, which means that there will be 20 minus y feet of chain out at any moment. We know that the chain weighs three pounds per foot, so my force function is going to be the amount of chain that is out, 20 minus y, times three. That will give the weight of the chain at that moment. The distance is represented with dy, and I'm going to be integrating from the time y is zero until the chain is completely wound up, which means that y is going to equal 20. Now that I have my formula set up, I need to integrate. So I'll have the integral from zero to 20, and I'm gonna write this as 60 minus three y dy. The integral of 60 dy is 60y. The integral of 3y will be 3y squared divided by two, and that will all be evaluated from zero to 20. Plugging in my upper limit, I'll have 60 times 20 minus 3 halves times 20 squared. Then I need to subtract what happens when I plug in my lower limit. But notice that lower limit is zero, and when I plug that in, I'm just going to be subtracting zero minus zero. So I end up with 1,200 minus, and 20 squared is 400. That will cancel with the two, and three times 200 is 600, and we end up with 600, we're measuring work, and it's going to be in foot-pounds. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.